today is Saturday. It's like two days after Ian Hurricane, well, Tropical Storm Ian came through Flagler County, and now it's hitting South uh, South Carolina today. Um, in last night, yesterday. But anyways, what I'm doing right now. I'm going to check out some area beaches because I know there's some of them that are completely closed off. Barn Park is closed off. Uh, we were over there yesterday and I heard that Jungle Hut is closed off, but there's some other beaches that I'm not sure if they're open or not. So I'm going to go check them out and I'm going to do a little video at each one and show you which beaches have access open, which ones look like they might be closed for a while. Um, Whenever you're watching this video, they might be open again. So go ahead and check again. But here's what it looks like. This is Saturday, October 1st. And this is right after Tropical Storm Ian came through Flagler County. We're gonna take a look. I'm also gonna check out Matanzas Beach because I've heard that one of those, I've heard that one of those are closed too. So we're gonna check those out and I'll show you what I find. I'm here at Matanzas Beach. This area here where you've got like the car, the ramp. Nobody's driving on the beach right now, so they've got that closed off, but there's plenty of room to bring your cart down. And uh, waves have calmed down considerably. This is just after high tide, so I would typically fish here at low tide. Um, I don't know if that walkway is open or not. We'll drive down there next and take a look, but here is Matanzas Beach and we've got access here. I'm going over the Matanzas Bridge. You can probably see behind me there's several people fishing on the bridge. Could not get into the Matanzas uh, Beach parking lot. The whole area is closed. I heard there was damage to that walkover so they probably don't want anyone getting hurt. So we're just going to keep on going and hit the next beach area. Driving past Marineland Beach. I don't know if you can see it back there but we've got um, the area is completely closed, so um, I could park. Nope, they've got even that is closed off. They've got Marineland Beach is closed, so we're gonna head down to the next area. So we drove past Marineland Beach, that was closed. Um, we drove past Washington Oaks Gardens, that's closed. I don't know how long it will take them to get those open and functioning again, but I'm sitting here at Bay Drive Park and I could get in here, yay. So this can be a problem. Look at all this, this is all torn up here. So I can't get my beach cart here. Oh, you know what? This is closed off too. All right, this is closed too. So I did see some people walking over there. They must have just climbed over, but I can't do that with a beach cart. So they don't want anybody on this beach. I guess Bay Drive Park is not an option right now. Okay, so I was hopeful that we could get into Bay Drive Park, and as we saw, that was a no-go. So I'm driving down here to Malacampra behind a really slow vehicle. <laughs> Coming down here to see if the beach access is open, if we can park it all. Um, I heard this was closed, so we'll see. Alright, it looks like they tried to close it off and everyone else said no. So we're just going to take a look. Uh, this is all twisted up, that'll be difficult to get a cart over. Let's take a look here. I think I'm going to take a look and see if I can find sand fleas. So while I was here, somebody fixed that couple of Good Samaritans. They went ahead and fixed it. I didn't find any, no sand fleas. I'm not seeing any mullet yet. They're probably got run out a little farther because of the, of the, uh, the storm. We're going to keep checking other beaches. Here we are at Old Salt Park. Everything's open except for it looks like they tried to barricade off the access to the beach. Well, we can lift my cart over if we really want to fish here. 
But we do have people on the beach who have gotten access to here. So here's what it looks like here. But uh, for parts, probably not right now. So while I'm driving, this is one of my favorite roads over here of all. It's the uh, road that comes off of the intercoastal bridge, the Hammock Dunes Bridge, and then it comes over and crosses where Jungle Hut Road Park is, and, and then it comes down to this resort down here. There's the Hammock Beach area, and I just love these oak trees that overhang the road, especially as we get down in here. It's so pretty. But those of you who have never been down here, you've never seen this area, it's just so nice. I love driving on these roads. I like to ride my bike. I used to live close enough to ride my bike across the intercoastal bridge. And I would ride my bike. I would run when I was training for half marathon. I would, <laughs> I would run over here and I'd ride my bike while Michael was running uh, right on the sidewalk to the right. Lots of good memories. I'm not gonna be running that far again, especially now I've got like plantar fasciitis, but yeah, I just wanted to turn this on while I'm driving on this road and give you a little peek of what it looks like because it's so pretty. It's a little further than I thought it was. I only went this far when my son was running. Man, that kid can run. I'd be riding my bike to be able to keep up with him. But yeah, I love this area. Check out these trees. And I'm so glad the storm didn't damage any of them. It doesn't look like any of them came down or anything. It's just so pretty, these oak trees. Right, I believe we're coming up to the intersection where we're going to turn left to go to Jungle Hut. Jungle Hut Road, I believe. Yes, Jungle Hut Road, so... I'm gonna turn here and see what this looks like. They've been trying to close off these beach access ramps by just piling a bunch of sand on it, which doesn't really work for us Floridians because all we do is tramp it down and push it aside and we just keep going. So uh, I'm expecting that that's what's the case down here too because I see a lot of cars, lots of cars. So, you know, you can't keep us away from the beach pile the sand we'll just kick it <laughs> even further to the side so here we come I turn this off while I'm parking big old puddle here it's probably open over there but I'm gonna look at this beach ramp because I'm more interested in what this beach ramp looks like just like I suspected they try to keep us out they can't do it well, I don't think I'll be getting my cart down this. So, Jungle Hut Park Beach is a no-go. Plus, look at all the rocks. Those were actually covered up really well before this storm. And now they are uncovered again. We got our coquina rocks back. It's so strange how this all works. But, but here's what it looks like. If you want to just come down and sit, this is a good place to said this is also a great place to find good shells and also um, this is where I go to look for uh, shark's teeth so look for piles you're like way there behind that guy there's a pile of shells that's a dry sift through there look for the shiny black material it'll be shiny if it's a uh, shark's tooth but anyways that's just a little little tip there but this is what it looks like all right, we're here at the Beverly Beach Town Hall. And this is another place I like to fish. It's another place that I have access to get my cart down on the beach. So let's see if they are letting people down there or not. Can't tell until we get back here to the beach walkover. Years to be open. Let's see. Oh, check that out. That is so cool. Huh? 
Oh my lord. I didn't know they did that down here. Oh, it's closed. We've got tape. Oh, that's why. Well, uh, this is definitely a no-go. Beverly Beach. I will not be coming down here anytime soon, it looks like. Wow. That's crazy. You got this dude flying over there. There he goes. Okay. Well, that's... That's unfortunate. Well, now we know. Here's what this wonderful water looks like here. Spot I won't be fishing for a long time. So now we're driving down toward Flagler Pier and a lot of these little uh, public access beach ropes. I'm going to turn it to the side here and as you're going past you'll see these public access ramps. They, well these are all private, but these are, they're all closed off. They've got tape across them. I mean, people are breaking the tape, but they don't want people going down there. It's uh, probably because there's pieces of piers, pieces of walkways. There's all kind of stuff in the surf that could be really dangerous. So they are trying to discourage people from going down to the beach. There might be a drop off at the end. That one looks like it's open. Um, this one's probably open because I see a bunch of cars parked here. We'll take a look here. I'm going to put it on the side and we'll see if we see it. Tape. Yeah, there was broken tape on the end. <laughs> so they're trying to keep us out, but it's not working. Okay, so here we are across from the water tower. This is crossed off, but these people in front of me just <laughs> went right through the tape. Let's see what it looks like down here. Okay, yeah, we've got a couple stairs totally missing off the bottom here. So even if I had a cart that I brought down the stairs, I wouldn't want to, uh, I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> so, dangerous. And down there, I believe that's a Gamble Rogers, and that's where I was thinking of that has a beach ramp, and it looks like, I don't know, shows it better in here. I can't really zoom it in too far, but it looks like the end of that beach ramp is closed off too. It's broken off. So, under normal circumstances, Gamble Rogers would be a good place to bring my beach cart down. And I didn't realize that until recently, but <laughs> it's gonna be a while till I get over there. So we've been taking a look at the beach access ramps and the damage and where you can get on the beach to fish with a fishing cart where you're not gonna be able to have access, at least right now. So we know where to go, where not to go. I hope this video has been helpful to you. But if you like this content, push the like, push that subscribe, hit the notification bell. And as always, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see you, fishing girl.